Okay, so in this video, we're going to show you how to install Windows XP starting from scratch, from formatting your hard drive, etc. We're also going to show you how to configure your CD or DVD device to boot from the CD in case you don't have it set up that way or in case you don't know how to. Okay, so um, right now I'm actually in the setup screen. But what I'll do is I'll restart this and show you how to get back in. For most bio setup utilities, to enter inside of it, all you have to do is either press delete, escape, or the F2 keys uh, once the system starts. Now you have to do this pretty fast. You only have about maybe five seconds at most to get it done. So, in this current computer I'm using is to press delete. So, what I'll do is I'll leave out of here, start over. Okay, so once the system restarts, once you see that screen right there, that just appeared, you have to press the delete or you'll miss it. Now, once you're inside the BIOS, um, to configure your computer to boot from the CD first, uh, you're actually going to look for either in the main menus or the sub menus. Now here in the main menus as you can see for this current BIOS it doesn't have anything with the boot order but if it was a BIOS that did have it here you'd be looking for something referencing toward the boot order or boot devices. Alright so for this current computer it's actually in the advanced BIOS features. We're gonna go to there and we're gonna select on it okay so once you're inside the advanced BIOS features sub menu you're gonna go down to boot sequence down here at the bottom and you see press enter now as you can see in the bottom of the screen here it actually shows you how to manipulate the different functions in the menus and sub menus now you see here it says enter to press select. So I'm going to press enter to get inside the boot sequence. Okay. And it's showing here the Sony DVD ROM, which is my main DVD drive, as the first boot device. And this is what I want because I'm going to put the Windows XP CD inside of that drive. So once you have that established, you're basically going to press F10 to log out, which it says here press F10 to save so I'm going to save and log out now once your computer restarts from here you're going to look for this message that's going to pop up real fast and it's going to say press any key to boot from the CD right in the upper left corner once that message pops up you press any key and setup starts the process Now this is the first stage of the Windows XP setup screen. You see Windows XP setup. And then on the bottom, you see Windows XP setup going through the process of loading the operating system inside of RAM for setup. And it's just showing you the different files that it's loading. Now once it's complete, you're going to be sent to the welcome to setup screen. Now on this screen here, I'm going to explain the options that you see here. Okay, it says to set up Windows XP now, press enter. That's what you're going to select if you want to install a fresh copy of Windows or if you want to run a repair installation on the Windows XP installation. And I'll get to that later. Um, and also you see to repair XP installation use a recovery council. Now you can also repair XP using the Recovery Council for the um the Windows XP utility tools that comes with it, but you have to uh, use that from a command line. Um, it actually works in a lot of cases if your your boot manager or your master boot record gets damaged for some reason. You can repair it through the Recovery Council. You can run check this and a few other utilities. So that's good to know also. Then of course to quit setup, press F3. We definitely don't want to do that. Cause that would kill the video, right? Okay, so you're gonna select on enter here for this window. 
it's going to bring you to the next window in the Windows XP setup installation. It's examining the disk now. Okay, so now you're brought to the license agreement page. And of course, you just press F8 to agree. And then that brings you to the professional setup, the partition. Then that brings you to the existing partitions window here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go right to the hard drive that we want to install XP on. Now, most of the time on your current computer, it'll just have one of these. I actually have two hard drives on here, so it's showing all of the hard drive and partitions that's up here. But for now, we're going to pay attention to this hard drive here, the one that's 80 gigabytes, or so it's showing 76 gigabytes, or 76,317 megabytes, which is the equivalent to the gigabyte. All right, so we're going to use this partition right here to set up Windows XP on. Now, you see up also, it says to use the up and down arrow keys to select an item from the list. Now it said to set up Windows XP on the selected item, press enter. Then it says to create a partition on partition space and then to delete. Now this D partition one, as you can see, already has info on it. And I would never recommend installing XP on top of a current installation or any kind of files that's there. XP needs to be by itself. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this current partition. It says select D. Press D to delete this partition. Then it says, are you sure? Windows wants to make sure because once Windows gets rid of it, it's not going to be an easy task to get this data back. Believe me. So make sure you're on the right partition that you want to get rid of or delete. Okay, so you're going to press enter here. Then Windows said, are you sure? Um, this is the third time three strikes you're out. So all you have to do is press L to let them know that you're sure. And you press L and that brings you back and you see the unpartitioned space on this hard drive now you see the 76,000 just says unpartitioned space and that's what we want so now we look at the first option again to set up Windows XP press enter now you can select enter on the unpartitioned space which is highlighted in the gray then it wants to know how do you then XP asks you how are you going to format this new Windows XP partition or this new NTFS partition and we're going to use the quick format or you can use the full. The full takes more time. I'm going to use the quick for this video. Now you see that setup is formatting. Now you see XP starting to copy files process.